Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. My Country 96.1, Fathead Candy Roth. Candy's out today, back tomorrow, a uh, predetermined day off today. So uh, we'll get ready to rejoin tomorrow. Today, looking like sunny skies, we'll be at about 65. This is where I thrive. Yesterday, uh, I was like 61 and a breeze, and I'm like, yes, this is me right here. This is the way the way life should be, uh, and uh, hopefully you're enjoying this cool, crisp fall weather. We just announced at 7.30 the day for the Secret Holiday Show and an on sale as well. So Friday, December 15th, yes, a Friday night at Mulcahy's. We are excited to bring you another Secret Holiday Show from my country, 96.1, uh, and we are also going to be uh, putting those on sale one week from today, 10 a.m., October 17th at moles.com. We are presented by the Jewelry Clinic of Riverhead. Man, they've been in business over 30 years. So amazing. Uh, Al and the whole crew over there, just absolutely spectacular uh, with repairs, new stuff. I mean, just what they do. And it's been over three decades. But we're happy to have the Jewelry Clinic on board presenting uh, this big show for us. Again, Friday, December 15th will be the actual show on sale uh, a week from today, Tuesday, October 17th, 10 a.m. Make sure you get your tickets at moles.com. We will have a couple of ticket blitzes, not many, limited, uh, so make sure you get those tickets when they uh, get put out there on sale. And as always, we will not tell you who is going to be there, who's performing until they hit the stage. So very, very excited about all of it. And I can't believe we're back to this time of year. Incredible. All right, a couple of stories for you. Um, this one got me. A, a few of these uh, are tough. So a list of words, people online, a uh, new thing online, people are talking about words that they know they're going to stumble over. Like the minute they see them written or the minute in their head they, they say, oh, I'm about to say this word, they know they're going to stumble over it. Uh, so you know, let's give you a few of those. Like brewery. Yeah, you got to be careful, especially if you've had a couple of drinks. You don't want to be saying the word brewery because you, you're going you're gonna to flub that one for the most part. Uh, but I think I did okay there. Posthumously is a good one. See, you got to slow down on a couple of these. Here's a good one. Sixth. Sixth. Yes, like sixth, like sixth place. That's You got to really stop yourself after the X before the T. Sixth. You got you to gotta like almost come to a full stop before you hit the TH for sure. Rural is another one that uh, uh, people are having trouble with online. Th I'll say this one, but I'm going to screw it up. I could say it five times in a row. I'm still not going to get it right. Worcestershire sauce, wor worstis, worstis, worst, worst, and the more you try to say it, the worst, the the worse that becomes. Worcestershire sauce. That's about as good as I can do. Uh, hamster. I, see, the problem here is it seems people are saying hamster with a p. There is no p. All right, it's like Binghamton. When you say Binghamton, or you know someone who goes to the school Binghamton, there's no p. In Bingham, it's not Binghampton, it's Binghamton. There is no P, all right? Hamster. There's no P in there. This one, this is an all-timer. Espresso. The next time I hear someone say espresso, you're going to get a, a light slap to the face. I don't want to say I'm going to punch you in the face. That, that could lead to some bad things. But just a light slap, maybe where you don't press charges. It's espresso. Not espresso, thanks. Uh, acai, right? Spelled A-C-A-I, you know. It's acai, right? Realtor, another word that people uh, have trouble with. Negligible. Um, this one, see, I had one of these yesterday, and I don't even know the right way yet. Is it gyro? Or some people say hero, right? I don't know the, is it is it a silent G? Do you say the G? I don't know the exact correct way. I mean, I think most people have always said gyro, 
All right. Uh, but I don't know the exact pronunciation. And there's a bunch of other February, right? A couple other ones on there as well. All right. On to the Halloween topic because, uh, and, and if you're a big fan of the show, you know, Candy and I, we don't spend our days ripping Halloween, but we don't necessarily love Halloween. Candy has her own issues with Halloween. It involves a dog she used to have who bit a child, but really didn't bite a child, just was overly affectionate, and the dog got taken away, and it was a whole to-do. I'm sure she'll retell the story. Um, but I do like to talk costumes, especially when I see a list of couple costumes. If you're going to a costume party, you got to come up with a couple costume. Over 35,000 people voted on whether these were cute or cringy. So before you decide to wear these, take note. Ken and Barbie. Believe it or not, I would have said cringy because it's oversaturated. But almost 80% of people said it's cute. So you Now, don't be shocked if you show up to a costume party and there's plenty of Ken and Barbies. All right, But almost 80% say it's cute. Another one, Fred and Daphne from Scooby-Doo. 75% think that is good. Here's the flip side. Homer and Marge Simpson. Don't do it. Almost 70% say it is cringy and in general, just like a straight out of the bag costume that's outdated. Don't do it. Cruella de Vil and a Dalmatian by your side. Don't do it. Cringy. Uh, these are couples costumes for, I'm trying to give you, set you up for your costume party. Kermit and Miss Piggy's 50-50. Uh, 55% say it's cringy, so guess you could get away with Kermit and Piggy. Uh, Harley Quinn and the Joker, also 50-50. Peter Pan and Wendy, also 50-50, cute and cringy. Uh, a football player and a cheerleader. Most people think it's cringy. About 45% say it is cute, but obviously you're going to get a lot of Taylor Swift, Travis Kelsey uh, costume party people. Uh, for sure, the couples are going as Taylor and Travis, no doubt. You're going to see a lot of that, especially amongst the uh, the young people. Minnie and Mickey, believe it or not, more than 50% say this is still a great costume if you want to go as a couple. And the final one on the list, I'm sure there's a million others you can find, but the final one they say, above anything else, do not wear this one as a couple. This is almost 90% cringe factor, 35,000 people voted. A plug and an outlet. Don't do it. Don't do it. The least popular couple costume, a plug and an outlet. The most cringy of all time. We are less than 20 minutes to your bald and the beautiful entertainment, everything from Nashville to Hollywood. If you're just joining us, we announced our secret holiday show where you won't know who's performing till you get there, till they hit the stage. December 15th, it's a Friday at Mulcahy's. Tickets a week from today at 10 a.m., moles.com. It's presented by the Jewelry Clinic of Riverhead. So happy to have them with us. They do amazing work over three decades in Riverhead at the Riverhead Plaza on Old Country Road. Just awesome. And uh, we can't wait for you to go buy your tickets a week from today. Uh, only 30 bucks, by the way, to get in. Uh, 10 a.m. next Tuesday at moles.com. And we will have a few ticket blitzes as well. Let's hit the roads, my country, 96.1. Fathead and Candy in the morning, weekdays 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1.